Fossil fuels not only contribute to climate change, but are also finite. Furthermore, their global distribution leads to political imbalances, impacting millions. Thankfully, with every new dawn, we inch closer to adopting cleaner, efficient, and renewable energy alternatives. Dive into the top eight innovative solutions with us. Number eight, tidal power. A few other ways of harnessing tidal power include using horizontal axis tidal turbines. These work the same as conventional wind turbines, except that they're underwater and powered by tidal forces. Another option are oscillating hydrofoils. Similar to those used in planes as the blade spin, they power a hydraulic system similar to Carnegie's. There are also sea snake devices made by Scottish company ESE Wave Power, P's being Latin for Seas Snake. These are machines about the size of commuter trains that Portugal is gambling on for energy off the coast of Ajicadura. As they bob on the water, their movement activates a hydraulic system that generates electricity for the national grid for their national grid. China's looking at bridges more specifically, an elevated road that spans the 60 to 100 kilometer coast between Zeman and Cha at the Bowie Sea beneath this road will live. 4,000 turbines that will turn on tidal power, each of which is expected to produce up to 15 gigawatts of power, more than enough for over 10 million homes. Number 7. Carnegie Wave Energy Australians have taken their love of surfing above the waves to another level, harnessing the power of waves below the surface. Thanks to Carnegie CDO technology, the idea is simple. Harness the power of a buoy attached to the seafloor as waves move it back and forth. It moves a pump that pushes high-pressure water through a pipe to a station on land. That water in turn drives a hydroelectric turbine to generate electricity without any fossil fuels, but that's not all. It can also power a reverse osmosis desalination. Plant Sacedo can kill two birds with one stone, produce clean energy and potable water, and all this using limitless wave power. How much power? About 240 kilowatt hours from one buoy alone, and because the buoys lie underwater, they won't be damaged by storms even better. Carnegie insists that sea creatures won't be harmed or the occasional surfer in case you are curious. Number 6. Algae Though a green eyesore on the water, algae's potential was first suggested in 1942 as a source of food and fuel. It wasn't taken seriously till the 1970s, however, when oil prices surged due to the oil embargo forcing the U.S. government to look into it fast forward to today. An algae is now used as a food supplement and as an alternative source of fuel. It's quick to produce, taking about three to six weeks on far less land than corn is biodegradable, relatively harmless to the environment, and can be harvested to produce biodiesel, biobutanol, biogasoline, methane, ethanol, and even jet fuel used by Lufthansa and Virgin Airlines. While several companies create fuel from algae, there's a problem. It's far more expensive to convert wet algal biomass into combustible fuel than just drilling for oil. The U.S. government hoped to achieve price parity with oil by 2018 with tax credits and help from ExxonMobil, but has so far failed according to ExxonMobil. Even with tax credits, algae biofuels won't likely beat the price of oil production till 2043, if at all. Number 5. Osmotic Power Osmotic power is generated when salt water meets fresh water, something that happens in nature when rivers flow to the sea watching osmosis occur. Back in 1973, inspired Professor Sidney Lowe to put the theory into practice when he saw the Jordan River flow into the Dead Sea. His solution was the reverse electrodialysis heat engine, but there's no need to get too technical. Put simply, you need to put something where they meet to keep them apart. This membrane is semi-permeable, meaning that some fresh water passes through to the salt water, but not vice versa. The salt water chamber increases in volume, creating what's called osmotic pressure, which causes a turbine to spin producing electricity. Statkraft AC Company in Norway became the first to open an osmotic power plant in 2009 and is expected to produce 1,700 terawatt hours per year. Number 4. 
Solar and Wind Power Why use solar panels when you have to deal with the night, bad weather, and cloudy days? By putting a solar array in space, we can have unlimited access to solar power, which can be transmitted to homes in much the same way as cable channels. This is why SpaceX, a private company, is currently vying for the right to put up such panels into space. An alternative is to replace all roads with solar panels designed to take the wear and tear of cars. This idea actually received a grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation. It got bambasted as being unfeasible, however, so the French, Dutch, and Chinese made their own. For those who find both projects too ambitious, there's quantum dock coating. Nano-built solar dots stuck to glass with the potential to turn any window or piece of glass into solar panels, moving away from solar. Their sheer wind and Voxa funnel resembling a horn of plenty. The company claims that their funnels can be powered by as little as 2 mile per hour winds, yet produced up to 6 times more energy than conventional wind turbines. Admittedly, they've yet to prove it. Same with the Typhoon Turbine, a Japanese take on traditional wind turbines, which don't work in heavy winds. Supposedly, the Typhoon Turbine can operate in violent winds since it uses three vertical blades around the central rod to regulate its speed. The inventor believes that by deploying his invention throughout the country, a single typhoon should power all of Japan for up to 50 years. Number 3. Human Power While pedal power has been around for a while, foot power is new thanks to Pavagen, a company that harnesses the power of footsteps. Pavagen produces tiles you walk on, but what makes it different from other tile makers is that its devices utilize the kinetic power of your footsteps to generate energy. A single footstep is enough to power a small LED light for about 20 seconds, but that's not all those. Using the Pavigan app can convert their footsteps into digital currency to collect reward points or donate to some charity. It can also track consumer patterns and tell how many people are in a certain area. Washington, D.C. was the first to install Pavigan tiles on its DuPont Circle sidewalk. Pedestrians do their thing while powering 68 generators enough to light the miniature park. The company's founder, Patrick Davies, believes that his invention can be used for entire cities and boasts that his company is at the forefront of the footfall energy harvesting market. Before I reveal the next example, I'd like to remind you to subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, we upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number 2. Lava Geothermal Generators Iceland already uses geothermal energy from its many steam fences, but in 2014, it accidentally dug directly into a magma chamber. Hawaii did this first, but they plugged it up. Iceland instead decided to harness the heat generating 60 megawatts of power and is thinking of exporting not just the excess energy, but the technology to do the same for other volcanic areas of the world, though nothing to do with lava. I found this clip so cool, I had to include it. It's a spring made of nickel titanium, also called nitinol. It's a shaped memory alloy, meaning it can be shaped into anything when cold, but reverts to its original shape when hot. In 1973, a simple model heat engine was made using this type of mitinal wire to generate mechanical energy from hot and cold heat sources called the Banks engine. It was only used to produce straight and circular motion for children's toys and hasn't yet been developed. Further, its inventor Ridgeway Banks said that OL has an infinitely higher specific work potential than biometallic materials, so who knows what they might eventually come up with. Number 1. Turbulent Micro Hydro Power Plant Turbulent came up with a simple whirlpool turbine that can power dozens of homes using the power of rivers and canals without harming fish. Simply dig a trench next to a river, insert the turbine, then let water and gravity do its thing. So long as the water doesn't stop or freeze over a single turbine, could generate 15 to 100 kilowatts of power for a dozen homes. Perfect for undeveloped areas for backpackers and hikers, there's a portable version called N-Nomad's E-Stream, a generator powered by rivers and streams. 
Simply stick it in a moving body of water and its rotating blades will juice up most USB connected devices. After all, who can possibly enjoy the wilderness without Facebook? Completely unrelated, but no less. Cool is the wind belt electric wind power generator. For those who hate rotating turbines, but love the wind. Seriously, though, it's perfect for hard to get areas such as parts of Haiti. Wind belts harness wind energy through belts that vibrate instead of turn, requiring less materials and taking up less space. It's far cheaper at around two to five dollars for one that powers a light bulb and produces as much as 10 times more energy efficiency. Who knows what other amazing sources of renewable energy are just waiting for us around the corner? Do you have your own suggestions to add to this list? And which ones did you think were the smartest? Let me know in the comments section down below, and thanks for watching.